properties of Cartesian product. We begin understanding something of ordered pair and Cartesian product. Suppose Jack wants to buy a car and he has decided to buy the car among three companies and he refers the color of red and white. Here we can make two sets. Set A contains the num name of the companies and set B contains the colors which are red and white. And he can choose all possible ways in which every car company with all three colors, it is clear by arrow diagram. Now set A represents in left and set B on the right. He can buy BMW car of white and red color. So we draw two arrows from BMW to white and red. He can buy Honda company car of white and red color. Similarly, we draw two arrows from Honda to the element in set B. And he can buy a car of Nissan company with white and red color. Similarly, we draw two arrows from Nissan. We use arrows to map every element in set A to every element in set B. So we get the A cross B, BMW white, BMW red, Honda white, Honda red, Nissan white, and Nissan red. This list is complete because all possible choices in which every car in the set A with every color in set B. Then what we conclude that for the A cross B, the two non-empty sets are required. Then the set of all ordered pair in which the first element from set A and second element from second set that is B is called the Cartesian product of A cross B. The Cartesian product is defined by using the tree diagram also. The first set is A which are the BMW, Honda and Nissan which are the element of set A and BMW of white color and red color because in set B there are the two elements. So BMW related with white and red. Similarly, Honda of white and red color, Nissan of white and red color. This is set B and we get the ordered pair of A cross B. These are the all possible ordered pairs. It is called the tree diagram, representation in the tree diagram. Similarly, A cross B, again we find, we can find by using the tabulation method, which is also the very easy. The set A, the name of the companies are listed on the right side in the table and the color set B, second set is represented in the above. And then this is a cross. Then first element is taken from set first set A, BMW. Then second element white taken from set B. Similarly, first element from BMW and red. Red is from red and white from the second set. And these members are from the set A. Then we get the ordered pairs like this. And this is also a single set. The conclusion resulting A cross B is the single set, which is the set of all possible ordered pairs. In the same way, we can construct the next example of the Cartesian product also. Let us take the set X is the set of all X coordinate of any point on XY plane and set Y equal to set of Y coordinate of any point on XY plane, then their Cartesian product is the, we get the whole XY plane. Then the to find the ordered pairs or Cartesian product of set of ordered pairs, uh, how to find then X cross Y, it means their set of all ordered pairs. It means that set of ordered pair X comma Y, this is the X coordinate and it is the Y coordinate. A small little lower case is the X component and lower case Y is the Y coordinate. And we get the set of all ordered pairs in which X this x coordinate taken from the set x and y coordinate taken from the set y. The meaning of this x y, x comma y, represents the point on the x y plane. Now here are some examples. Example number one. Now, uh, if set A equal to having element A and B, there are two elements, and set B having element one, two, and three, then find A cross B and B cross A. 
Now let us check that A cross B and B cross A. What is the relation? What is the property between A cross B and B cross A? Then set A equal to A comma B and set B contains the element 1, 2 and 3. Then A cross B by using the arrow diagram, A to 1, 2, 3 and 3 arrows from the set of element B also. Then A cross B is the set of all possible outcomes. A comma one, A comma two, A comma three, B comma one, B comma two, and B comma three. Similarly, B cross A. To find the B cross A, first set should be B, and second set is the A. Then two arrows from one, two arrows from two, and two arrows from three. And then B cross A is first element taken from set B, and second element are taken from set A, then we get the A cross B here. Then note that here it is clear that A cross B does not equal to B cross A because here is A comma one and here is one comma A, which are not equal. Only in this case, A cross B would be equal to B cross A if any one of the A and B are equal. Now let us check this example. If a equal to set of x which are the natural number less or equal to 4 natural number from 1 to 4 then both the, we have to find the value of a cross a means here are both the sets are equal then the elements of set a are 1 2 3 and 4 because x is less or equal to 4 set of x which are less or equal to 4 x are the natural number also then finding the a cross b using the table left side element of a and right side of above side element of b which is also the a because to find the a cross a first element from a and second element from second set one comma one first element taken from left side and second element taken from the above one comma two similarly one comma three one comma four and we get the ordered pair two comma one two comma two two comma three two comma four and third element is 3 then ordered pairs are formed like this 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 4 in each ordered pairs first element from say this left side and second element from above side and 4 comma 1 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 then a cross a equal to 1 comma 1 these all ordered pairs are arranged in this set and enclosed by the curly bracket we get the a cross b and but here is both the sets are equal the result is a cross a what we conclude that if both the sets are equal then cardinal cartesian product of both the sets a cross b or b cross a are equal and if a and b both the sets are different then a cross b does not equal to b cross a in the next video, we will look at the cardinality of Cartesian product of the sets.